Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. I need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? <sighs> Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgan was so cold. Hutch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you. He's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helavis. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the Frozen Queen of the Exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the White Knight Helavis needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, 
then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun! Kids. You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of Ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? straight alpha area. You want to form an alliance with my gamma area to bring down the betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, 
beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an Alliance Alpha area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of E's Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. This cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day! Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him! Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault.
look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise.
Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me, either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame, then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so.
I see a village. Let's go ask around. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The Shipping Guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh good, I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, alright? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. <laughs> 